Hey guys, it's Mama Goob. So I almost didn't release this video for fear that I could be considered doxing or mean or whatever. Remember, I have no insider knowledge. This is just a speculation based upon the clues that are out there that Anna dropped. I'm trying to find out more information for myself and share my opinion with you guys. Please let me know if um, you have any questions or concerns and I will gladly answer them in the comments. Anyways guys, I hope you have a great day and enjoy the video. Uh, yeah, I might not be a doctor. I might not be a world renowned plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Anna, that back on your fat is not lipedema. Okay. In your midsection is not lipedema on your face is not lipedema. Whoever is telling you this is not helping you and you're never going to get it. Are you? <laughs> beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I wanted to do a little bit of follow-up on to Glitter and Laser's latest upload to YouTube related to her surgery to finally address her lymphedema. Once again, I'm coming at you like this because I am not trying to make fun of her, but I'm very interested in the subject as this affects me too. So I wanted to get more information because, as a, as you know, Miss Anna O'Brien, I almost called her Alexandra Rodriguez, no, Miss Anna O'Brien is like not even telling us anything. She's basically using buzzwords and then looking for sympathy, getting her ass pats, and moving on. I'm more interested to find out the story behind this. As a matter of fact, I feel like a fucking journalist at this point. Okay. A good journalist. I'm, I'm trying to put together the pieces and come to a conclusion. Uh hey, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob again. Yes, this video is going to be a hot mess express, but I just checked Anna's TikTok and apparently nine hours ago, she discusses with further detail her surgery. Okay. I'm happy for this. This is what I've been waiting for, which is why I've put this clip up front. Um, I had the doctor wrong. I mean, we, we could only guess based upon, um, based upon the information that was out there. So I'm not, you know, this is what happens when you just throw out breadcrumbs, in other words. So here she discusses her actual surgery team, which is exciting. Dr. Um, Amron, who has a um, advanced lipedema treatment, treatment, he has a TikTok and he has a YouTube too. So again, I just wanted to clear up any confusion based upon her most recent upload, which I'm going to read to you what she says now. I'm not going to press play because it's just music. The thing I dislike mostly about TikTok is that most of the times she doesn't, I don't know if this is the way TikTok works or it's just her. A lot of times she just writes. So the person who's viewing this has to actually pause it and read it or else have to listen to the shitty music over and over and over again because it's only 17 seconds. So anyways, wouldn't be Mama Goob if I didn't get that little gripe out of there. But let me read this because I just want you all to have the most information as possible. So, nine hours ago, Anna O'Brien says, I've decided to have surgery to treat my lipedema, and I'd love y'all to meet my surgery team. Dr. Amron, lipedema liposuction surgery at Advanced Lipedema Treatment. Um, you can also find him on YouTube. I started watching a few seconds, but I didn't get to watch more. Believe me, I will watch more of his videos. And Dr. 
Mashrefi, Plastic Reconstructive Surgery at Modern Plastic Surgeries. Yes, I need this too. Yes, at the Roxbury Institute. I'm sorry, I can't help but giggling because if you guys ever seen Saturday Night Live back in the 90s or the night at the Roxbury, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. When I made the decision to have surgery, it was a long and thought out process involving multiple doctors, assessments, and research. I chose my team because of their years of experience and dedication to studying the disease. I wanted a practice that actively wanted to be part of advancing the awareness and research of this condition 100 fucking percent, Anna. Yes. Candidly, I was looking for a doctor that would work with me to document a stage four procedure to help educate not only other medical professionals, but also future patients. Also, my obesity specialist did a little background research and recommended that whomever was associated with the literal legend that is Dr. Karen Herbst was the way to go. The reason I chose, I chose surgery now was because my body was screaming at me to do it. I'm sure it was. I was not losing any more weight despite doing everything I should be doing. Yeah, uh, that's debatable, but we'll get into that. I was starting to see my old pain return and new pain show up for the first time. I also became very aware of how my range of mobility in my knees and shoulders was significantly starting to decrease. I met with every doctor on my medical team and everyone agreed that the time was now. Yeah, you can't put this off any longer. Putting off the surgery would only lead to a greater chance of complications and more pain for me. Tomorrow is the big day and I'd be lying if I didn't say I was scared. Of course, yeah. That said, I can do hard things. Heck, I have done hard things. This is just another hard thing to conquer on my journey to becoming my best self. Oh, 100% girl. I feel incredibly happy to be supported by such an amazing team. I also, also hope sharing my surgery so publicly will be able to help others get diagnosed and maybe even pursue this treatment for themselves. I am with you, girl. Thanks to the ALT team for allowing me to film and share this journey in such a raw and authentic way. Thank you, Anna. This is the update we needed, guys. All right. So sorry about the roller coaster of this video. I just, you know, if I'm making and piecing together what's going on with Anna, I couldn't ignore this. So carry on. But I wanted to start out with this first. So this is on Instagram. I'm not going to play the video because um, I think it's just going to be music. But I want to read to you what she says because, yeah. It says, and eight weeks ago, yesterday, I flew to LA to meet with specialists to discuss removal of my lipedema. I just returned home from my appointment and mentally I am overwhelmed. On one hand, I feel more sane. I stopped losing weight a few months ago and I thought, I was the problem. By the way, just digging into this Dr. Schwartz a little bit, he's a fat, he's a fat activist a little bit. Like he's probably the one feeding her this bullshit, just so you know, him or his people. Um, I knew I had lipedema, but surely I had normal fat I could lose, right? Uh, yeah, I might not be a doctor. I might not be a world renowned plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, but Al uh, Alex, huh? but Anna, that back on your fat is not lipedema. Okay. In your midsection is not lipedema on your face is not lipedema. Whoever is telling you this 
is not helping you and you're never going to get it, are you? People, whatever I can do, share this around. Anybody out there who's a little impressionable needs to get the record clear, okay? A lot of times, just from what I've read on the subject, because again, this personally affects me too, you have to lose as much of the regular fat as possible. There is no way on God's good green earth that Anna has lost all the rest of her fat. Anybody who believes that is very naive and only looks at the one influencer to get their information. So share this video out, guys, because we need to correct the record because there's a lot of people doing themselves some serious harm by listening to jackasses like this. Anyhow, I must not be doing enough. The comments that I have haunted me for years expanded their space in my brain. You're not working hard enough. You're eating too much. You're lying to yourselves. Uh, well, I mean, she's working hard, but she's absolutely eating too much. And she's absolutely double, triple, super lying to herself. By the way, there's a fly. So apologies if you could see it. Today, I found out that I have spent the last few months beating myself up for no reason. Yeah, you beat yourself up for no reason because it obviously didn't have a fucking effect, right? Just like shame. Shame serves a purpose. Guilt. Guilt serves a purpose. You, both of them mean you should be changing something. So, um, yeah, there's a reason you beat yourself up. Okay, so even if let's just pretend we live in a world where, okay, all Anna has is this lipedema fat. You should have gotten it taken care of mm, 10 years ago, five years ago even, because I know lipedema is kind of like a blind spot still in society where not many people know about it. Your general general uh, GP doctor, general practitioner is not going to know about it. My vascular surgeon barely knew about it. So I can't give her shit for that. But the second she knew that she had, or there was an inkling that she had lipedema, I remember it was years ago. It was somebody in her comments said that she probably has lipedema. And she just went, okay, oh, oh. Woe is me. I won't survive. She just laid back and let it get worse. So, you know, beating yourself up serves a purpose. Whatever. According to my appointment, my lipedema is severe. And right now, the majority of weight I have to lose is unburnable by my body. She's, she has lipedema fat, guys. No, no two ways about it. I'm not arguing. It's not the majority. Anna, Anna, wake the fuck up. See, I would have been more happy to see her get weight loss surgery than the lipedema surgery. But I am just but a old woman on the internet, aren't I? I've never been through any of this myself. <sighs> This means surgery, or rather multiple surgeries, are needed. She'll probably need skin removal after this too. But again, I would still rather see her lose the fat fat first and then get it all done. But what the fuck do I know, right? I knew surgery was in my future, but I wasn't prepared for this. It's been a lot to take in. I'm just trying to process what this all means for me. I've never seen somebody feel so fucking sorry for themselves for something that could have been addressed years ago. Anna, imagine having an actual disease like that you didn't cause. Imagine an actual disease that doesn't, that causes limits to your mobility. How would you feel then? You know, mm -hmm. edit. I appreciate people want to be helpful, but I'm not interested 
in alternative treatment options. Yeah, uh, because she wants the easy way out. Oh, God, guys, this is what's wrong with the world. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be a boomer here. Caitlin K. Want to offer folks a gentle reminder that unsolicited advice almost always feels like criticism. I think we could all benefit from abstaining, especially here. Caitlin, do yourself a favor. If you live in the United States, don't vote because you're an asshole. Okay, criticism's what makes the fucking world go round, okay? Yeah. Yep. I bet you you're the type at work, if you even work, where nobody can say anything about your work performance because it's too hurtful. Fucking grow up, bitch. Anna wants to put it out there? Gonna respond to it. All right, so now we're gonna watch the ever-annoying TikTok, okay? So this was three days ago. I believe I have them in order now. Looks like she posts every day on, um, on TikTok. So let's see what she's got to say. I refuse to get a login for TikTok because I don't know how you guys watch this. Hi, my name's Anna. And if you're new here, I have a condition called lipedema and I'm getting surgery to... So this is the same outfit she wore in the teary video. Um, like, you see how her... Let me see if I can make this bigger. Treat it in six days. Do you see how her um, blouse is opening like this? Hold on. Let me back this up. Do you see that? See how her blouse is opening? Is that lipedema fat, Anna? In six days. Um... I think I'm more excited about surgery than I have Look been that. all the Look way up the until this point blouse. because I'm not going to cry. But today was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I literally walked two miles. And at the end of the two miles, I like could barely move. I was like hobbling. I was limping. Is this, this couldn't be on her cruise ship. This doesn't look like a cruise ship bedroom or a stateroom, but maybe I'm wrong, but. She tried to walk two miles again. She's brave. It's been really hard for me going off of Wagovi, which I had to do in preparation for the surgery. For me, Wagovi, yes, helped my appetite, but it also like significantly affected my inflammation and pain. And they've seen in studies like... I wonder if they, they even tried her on an anti-inflammatory diet about rheumatoid arthritis that this has helped other people. I don't know if it's helped people in the case of lipedema or if it's just me, if I'm a weirdo and I magically got to like leg up, but you're a weirdo. Yes. Having that mask taken away, that thing that protected me from experiencing some of the things related to my condition has been um, really eye opening and also like how about us living here our best lives and we don't have the benefit of Wegovy or any of the others? Just really uncomfortable. It's definitely made me feel like I've made the right decision, but it's not fun. My body hurts really bad and I... And by the way, so she went on this cruise, which is le left out of Fort Lauderdale. She's in Miami. She went to New York City and now she's flying to California. Don't you guys feel sorry for her? I know. Isn't that rough? I just am scared. I'm a lot more scared now because I realize that if I don't deal with this quickly, that that this is my reality and it sucks. So in short, everything sucks, but hopefully it's going to get better soon. Yeah, it sucks. Oh my God. You can afford to go to Beverly Hills and get the best of the best treatment. Seething. I'm seething. Can you tell? I'll see you guys tomorrow. What type of surgery cures lipedema? Let's see if anybody knows. The only way to get rid of lipedema fat is lipo, but it's progressive and keeps coming back. Well, this um, doctor claims that because he removes so much of it, it might not come back. I don't know. 
Yeah, they're basically saying lip, um, liposuction. It's a certain type of liposuction. It's not your normal liposuction. And this is another point. Everybody's saying their weight loss medicine like Mujaro, semi-glutide, um, Zepbound is really helping, but it it's hard to come off of. Holy shit, isn't that scary for you guys? <laughs> come on. Do you want to take something that has withdrawals? That's what I meant. She should just have the fucking weight loss surgery and, uh, you know, adjust her life accordingly. All right, guys. Well, hold on. Let me back this up because the second you touch it, it starts playing. This one pisses me off too. Like to no fucking end does this piss me off. Um, she's talking about getting, um, what are they called? Compression stocking. She has to do 20 to 30. And they let her buy them on Amazon. Number one, there's no proof that it's actually 20 to 30. Number two, you need to be professionally fit, you asshole. Okay, again, impressionable youngsters don't know this. They think they can get the smiley face. Fucking compression stockings from Amazon. And you can't. So, I mean, I've had my varicose veins done like at least twice, almost three times. Not only do you have to go to the ugly medical ones, but they cost hundreds of dollars and you have to replace them every six months because the elasticity goes bad. And number two, they have to professionally fit you. If I went into my vascular or when I did the, um, the actual lipedema, lipedema, I don't know, the one that's not lipedema, um, removal, because we had no idea what lipedema was back then, they would have fucking laughed at me had I showed up in stockings like that. And they would have forced me to get the real ugly ass medical kinds. This shows me that nobody's taking this fucking serious, but let's press play. My name is Anna, and if you're new here, I have lipedema, and I'm having surgery on it in six days. So, <laughs> one of the things you have to get for surgery is compression socks. And I am literally living in a compression sock hell right now. So, yeah, probably because none of them fit right. I ordered five pairs of this brand, used my measurements. They should have fit. You need to be professionally sized. <laughs> Do they fit? And seriously, why aren't they making her get thigh highs? I don't know, but... <laughs> Of course not. I mean, I'm bummed because I really wanted to wear those during surgery. So. During surgery. You're wearing compression stockings when they're doing the liposuction? What the fuck? Part of the problem is, is when you have lipedema legs, this part doesn't like come in like a normal calf. It's just like oh. straight. It's looking like it's coming in pretty good. It looks like it's coming in and then bulging out again when it comes to your thigh. And if I can spy correctly, I see an ankle. Up and down. So then I ordered these, which I've worn. And they've been fantastic. They're great for summer, but they are not the right weight for surgery. You need 20 meg to 30 meg. If you don't know what that is, either did I. I don't, I don't even know what... Oh, yes, Anna. People who've been studying this for years, like you should have been, know what the fuck that is. But it is, I'm buying, but I have to buy them. So, yeah. Yeah, they need to send you to a medical fucking supply store. I got these. And I figured for two socks. Today's little vlog, we could try them on because <laughs> if these don't fit, you must quit. I'm in trouble. <laughs> like, yeah, big time. Because surgery, we don't have enough time to order them. Okay, so these are fun. You, it's not like you've had, um, haven't had what, I don't know. What did this, the first one we saw was eight weeks of fucking go. She could have gotten custom ones. Ooh, try the pink ones. <gasps> They're so pretty. To match. To match what? Yeah, the first rule of compression stockings, if they're easy to put on, they're not correct. Ah! <laughs> We have a winner, winner, winner. See, she also has pretty long legs. So that's what I mean. They need, she needed to get professionally measured to make sure that they're right for her. Winner. 
beautiful. Do you see the compression? It's giving health. It's giving good circulation. No, it's not, Alex. It's giving reduced. I fucking called her Alex again, didn't I, guys? Just shoot me. Forget it. I'm not good with names. There's too many A names out there. Miracle space. So, okay, I'm really glad because I literally had to order these to my hotel room when I figured out that the ones I did have were not going to work at all. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah. All right, so this one was uploaded either Friday or Saturday. I'm honestly not sure. It says a day ago and today is Sunday. Um, I believe this is where she goes and sees the person that she discussed in her YouTube video, the crying YouTube video that was doing some analysis of her ankle to see if she's something. I, I don't remember, but... It gets pretty teary, and again, guys, look. You see this right here? Is that lip edema? I, I mean, reality. Reality is a thing, guys. It, it's, it's a thing. Be honest, all right? It, you're not doing anybody any favors by lying. My name's Anna, and if you're new here, I have lip edema. And in four days, oh. I am having surgery to treat it. And today it's kind of a weird day. We're going to do something a little different on this vlog because I am going to be meeting with a specialist to understand how lipedema has affected my mobility. And I thought rather than just talking at you guys, I would show you that process. So let's go. So you can't see them on screen, but I have a facilitator who's telling me a series of movements. So she's wearing her new socks. And then she's looking at my body to see how it's been affected in the way it moves by my lipedema. So we're looking for limited mobility, if my body's compensating or changing my movements to prevent pain, and etc. Um, you know the way we learned how to walk well? Guess what? It regressed. Whose fault is that? Is that your body's fault? Is that the world's fault? It's your fault, Anna. It's your fault. I have all the same problems I had. And I've also lost, like... Not any weight. Tons of mobility and, like, ability to lift, I don't know, muscle strength in my knees and my shoulders. I knew it was bad. I knew that coming off the Wacomi, I knew things were, were changing, but I didn't realize I'd gone so far back. Good, there was pain, but I didn't know that I had, like, functionally screwed up my mobility again. So going off the wee govy just for this surgery, that pushed her back that much. Uh, I have a sinking feeling she hasn't been doing any material um, workouts. I mean, I guess since, you know, she uploads them, but since the running video. The surgery, if it's as much of a mental challenge as it is a, a physical one, because I didn't expect to feel so bad about myself. Again, no, feeling bad about yourself sucks, but it serves a purpose. <sighs> This is part of the journey. This pain is part of the journey, and that's why. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad she finally did wake up, but geez, some crackers, Anna. I'm sharing this, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this is the most recent one she's uploaded. Um, I guess this was Saturday at some point she uploaded this. She's on her way to California to see Dr. Beverly Hills. I mean, good. Doc Hollywood. Do you guys remember that movie with um, Michael J. Fox? <laughs> used to love that movie. It's called Lipedema, and in three days, I'm having surgery to treat it. And Good for today, her. we're flying to L.A., so <laughs> let's go. Our flight has been delayed over and over and over, so we are supposed to literally be in L.A. by now, but we are still waiting to take Yikes. off. So that's a fun start to this trip. My knees are hurting so bad, and we have a six-hour freaking flight. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I'm going to be very real with you. I feel terrible. Well, 
Wow. Like, I hope they sat in the terminal for most of those six hours that she's been delayed or she found out they were going to be that delayed and just stayed at her hotel. Jeez. Okay, our flight has been delayed again. Yeah, and I can hear the little kids in the background who cannot be happy. And I really hope she says it again, but there's a child screaming, are we flying yet? The answer is no. No, we are not. So this is why I wanted to show you this because it's not much help um otherwise but definitely in two seats you imagine oh by the way <laughs> bish isn't even wearing her compression fucking stockings what is fucking wrong with her you know that's the number one place you need to wear compression stockings is on a plane especially when you've been sitting there for forever um I think this is John here. John's a good sport. God bless John. But, um, yeah, guys, could you imagine looking down? I mean, Anna, Anna, why didn't you wake up a couple years ago, a couple decades ago? I don't know. Your mother and sister passing from obesity-related obesity disorders, that didn't wake you up? Reality, guys. Reality's a bitch. My solution is I'm alternating one leg up to try to take some pressure off my knees. Yeah, I imagine that wasn't a comfy flight. Okay, so now I think the belt has broken down at the baggage claim. Look, it's insanity. What is this travel day? What is this? I made it to my hotel. I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I imagine. Plus, she had a time zone difference because I think she came from New York. <sighs> My body hurts. <laughs> I have a theory. I have a theory. When everything goes wrong, it means something is about to go very right. And so... If that's what keeps you going, I haven't found that that's the truth, but... I'm just going to take <laughs> this horrific trip is a sign that the surgery is going to go well. And I wonder how long she's going to stay in California because um, she has to recuperate a bit. No, that's what I, that's what I'm going to do. So, all right. Thank you for your videos. Because of you, I've learned I have lipedema. Okay, you have lipedema, desert rose. Now what? Did she tell you how to cure it? No, she didn't. She's only giving you bad advice. Well, guys, that's all I wanted to do was give you a little brief update on um, the postscript to Anna's whole surgery. And I'll keep watching. I hope she does talk more about the surgery she received and how it went and what the recuperation was like. Um, you know, if she has to have skin removal. I really hope that she says something. Because if she doesn't, then it just proves that this is a 100% money grab. Whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.